Remember, these are real spells. Please put on headphones so I don't call entities into your place. Hello everyone, my name is Wicca Blue Moon, and today we are going to be doing a uh, video on uh, Thevin. Uh, Thevin is a um, alphabetic writing that is initially used uh, for Wiccans. But if you are not Wiccan and you wish to use this, um, please feel free to. Um, it is mainly used to hide our spells and important um, letters from prying eyes. So, uh, how you spell seven is T H E B A N. And this is going to be used um, for the alpha. Uh, English alphabet, so it's going to be used for A, B, C, D, E, all right, so we will stop at the letter N. And I will do the letters right underneath it. Now, these are only going to be, um, I guess you would say, like capitalized letters. There is no version of a lowercase letter in this. So, that right there is for the A. Right there is for the B. That's for the C. That's for the D. For the E. For the F, that's for the G. So, as I said, there are no versions of a lower case. So, as far as the writing goes, if you want it to write, let's say, for instance, bad, it would be. B A D. All right. So let's continue on with the letters. So there are a couple letters that are going to be actual, actually the same, um, in which it's not going to be the H, but it's going to be for the I and J. So uh, as far as you're reading it. Well, the more you write it, of course, the more you're going to get it. Um, you'll have to, your mind will automatically decipher whether it's the I or J, the more you read it. So just wanted to point that out. So now for the H. Kind of looks like two scepters holding together, but maybe that's just me. All right, so for the I and the J, they're both the same thing. So now for this one, the K, what I do is I kind of come back to it. I do one hill and then down with the other and then I come back and I swoop that around. Alright, so a little swoop and straight down with the K. Now with the L
kind of looks like a little check mark with the division sign on top. All right, so that one's pretty easy to get used to. Now for the M, kind of has a little swoosh, then down, and then you're going to come back down. And it's going to be a little swoosh at the end. All right, now for the letter N. Kind of looks like a check mark with a line down and then the M on the bottom. All right, so I'm going to pause this here. I'm going to let you take any, uh, if you want to write it down, go ahead and pause the video here. And uh, that way you can finish writing them. Uh, zoom in, take however long you need to. Um, but I am going to erase this now. So. Alright, so we left off at N, so and we'll just do Z over there. <laughs> I should have scooted it over more, but that's all right. All right, so, oh, what we're gonna be doing for this is that right there with the little swoosh towards the right. In fact, it's both, there we go. All right, so now for the P, Did the letter S again, sorry. <clears throat> there we go. Now, again, with the U and V, they're going to be exactly the same. So, and then for the W, It's two of them together. So just keep that in mind. Uh, practice it a couple times. The Y is a bit unique. Uh, for Z, what you want to do is <clears throat> so it's small little M check mark up, and then it's going to be a curved line going down. So again, if you are a little bit behind and you need to copy this down, now is the time to pause it. I'm going to be erasing it and then we're going to be writing a, a couple words. So.
All right, so now that we clean that off, we are going to write a sentence. All right, and then I will pause it, or if you want to, after I write it, you can pause it and see about deciphering what it is. And then um, I will wait about a minute, and then I will actually write down what it says. All right, so. So now I'm going to write the uh, sentence. to take a moment to pause the video and decipher this, um, do so now and resume when you are finished. All right, so what we have here is actually um, something that I write um, pretty frequently and it's actually here on my uh, Atham. So, uh, what it says is, So it says, Goddess is light, guide me. So I usually put that on um, important spells or just something that I want to empower with the uh, Goddess's light. Um, I say, practice writing it down either on your sigil box or on your. Uh, tools or just experiment and you'll find out that it actually gives you a lot more um, of a powerful boost into your uh, magic spells so hopefully this has helped you Um, if it has helped you, please hit that uh, BMS logo on your the bottom right of the screen. That's the subscribe. Or uh, please hit subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. That will let you know when uh, new videos are available. And that way you can stay up to date. Um, don't forget to also uh, share this video with your friends. They might uh, enjoy it as well. Um, thank you very much.